today's video is about things that you should not do if you're standing in a campground for that fact if you're boondocking. today's video I hope you enjoy yourself but also learn something along the way because today we want to talk about the things to not do in a campground it could be a boondocking site or lot docking as well all right today's perspective is coming from the campground manager side camp host or work campers have you ever been to a campground and you saw something that you care to never see again? Let's talk about trash. Where do you put your trash? When you're staying in a campground, make sure you keep your trash picked up out of your sight. Don't let things blow around and don't leave it out at night for animals to get into. And also, don't burn your trash in the fire pit. I know we are guilty of doing some of that. We used to burn all of our paper and that's fine if it completely burns but just remember if the things you put in that fire pit does not burn fully then who has to pick it up? Who has to clean up that mess? Or is it just left for the next person? So I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate if you pulled into a site and the trash is piled up in the fire pit so just think about that next time when you're dealing with the trash on your campsite. We're going to talk about pets. Because you know we love dogs. We have two dogs. We have Missy and Mason. But we like to clean up after them because we like to think that we're responsible pet owners. When they go to the bathroom outside, we pick it up and we dispose of it in the proper way. So when you are camping, or traveling with your pets, make sure you clean up after them. Let's talk about check-in and check-out times. If you want to come into an area and check-in is not until 1 o'clock, but you want to see the area, so you want to come to the campground and set up earlier, my suggestion is to call the campground ahead of time because a lot of times they have check out at 11 o'clock and that allows the campground staff enough time to clean the site up and prep it for you and your arrival. So instead of just showing up and getting upset at 11 o'clock because you cannot get into your site because either someone's still in that site or that site has not been prepped for you, call ahead. Now check out time. Hey. We're all guilty of running late sometimes, and there's nothing wrong with that. Things happen, but just communicate that with the campground so they can make arrangements. Now, if you want to have a late checkout so, and you have that pre-planned, go ahead and let the campground know and see if that's okay with them, because sometimes they have availability that allows you to stay an hour or two later, but just communicate that with the campground first. We're going to talk about pets again, because we all love pets. I know we do, but I don't like to sit at my campsite and listen to your dog bark on end because you've tied him outside and left him unattended. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't be those people. I like to think Ed and I are responsible pet owners. When we're going for a walk in the campground or on the trails, we try to keep them on a shorter leash. Because even though you're walking by with a very friendly dog, your dog may not be as friendly to mine. Lesson, keep your dog on a short leash and away from other dogs. If you're in a campground that has a pet area so you can exercise your pet before you come in and there's other dogs in there make sure those dogs in there are friendly or that yours is friendly let's talk about the site that you rent and the area that you're in 
would you like if someone just walks through your area, sits on your picnic table, or allows other children to play hide and go seek underneath their RV? Uh-uh. Okay, let's talk about the bathrooms and the showers. A lot of campgrounds have made it accessible for many of us to use a full-size shower rather than your RV if you want to, or use the restroom. If you don't have a restroom in your RV that you don't want to use or you don't have one, or if you're a tent camper. But let's say this, if you're going to use the restroom, be respectful. Don't throw stuff on the ground. We had one campsite that there was a feminine pad in the shower and you expected a work camper to clean that up for you? No, 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 no. And when you go to the restroom, when you're at home, do you poop all over the toilet? Do you poop on the floor and then smear it on the walls? Gosh, I hope not. So just be respectful. If you would not use it, then don't expect anyone else to use it that way. Let's talk about quiet time. It's set for a reason. Many people have different things. Some are very early risers and they go to bed early. Some people rise late and stay up over the night and that's okay. You can sit by the campfire at 10 o'clock at night if I want to go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. You can sit and have a conversation, and you can have some soft music playing. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. To just be respectful of your neighbors. <clears throat> Do you like waking up to loud doors banging? I know I don't. So just be respectful. If you're coming in late at night or you're an early riser, don't slam them doors. Let's talk about speed limits. Because I know me and maybe you, sometimes when we're on the highway, we tend to speed a little bit. Mm, yeah, I'm guilty. But in a campground, they usually put the speed limits there for the safety of others. We have children running all around the campground, and we have people walking their pets. So, just obey your speed limit, and you'll get to the other side of the campground in no time. Even during daylight hours, I mean, I love music. I love listening to music. Unfortunately, I can't sing, and if I do sing, your ears are going to bleed. So we don't want that. But even during the daylight hours, my neighbor may not want to hear my rap music and it may drive them crazy so yes please listen to your music and have a great time but don't have it so loud that your neighbor can hear it inside the rv i've got another question for you when you put fire on a wood picnic table do you know that it will burn I know, it's shocking. So please don't put your tabletop grills on a wood picnic table because it'll leave a nice burnt spot for the next person or for the campground to fix. Let's talk about sewer hoses. Our favorite topic. Yep, yep, yep. You know the movie RV? where Robin Williams is trying to dump his tanks and he gets a poop shower. I think we all remember that scene. That was pretty awesome. Thank goodness it wasn't us. But after you're done dumping your tanks and you go to rinse your hose, don't put it on the picnic table. Please don't put it on the picnic table because you never know who's going to come right behind you and eat their lunch there. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video today. You had a little bit of a laugh. Try to be a little goofy. Try to be a little funny because I don't like to be serious all the time. I like to have a little fun. Otherwise, I get to be a grumpy gal, and we don't want a grumpy gal. So, with all that said, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell so you get notification every time that we post a video. And also, if you enjoyed the video today and you want to see more content like this, thumbs up would be helpful for me to know what you're looking for. And um, so, till next time.